Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Today we'll be discussing how the mass of a particle affects its ability to charge and thus its capacity to separate via electrostatic separation. To begin with, Particles become charged when two materials come into contact and then separate. There's often a transfer of electrons between the materials, which can leave one material with a net positive charge and the other with a net negative charge. The amount of charge that a particle can hold depends on its mass and surface area. The more massive a particle is, the more difficult it is to charge because it requires more electrons to transfer in order to create a significant charge. This is where electrostatic separation comes into play. In electrostatic separation, particles are subjected to an electrostatic field which charges them, and they are then attracted to plates with the opposite charge to separate them. However, larger particles require more charge to separate, and if they don't receive enough charge, they will not separate effectively. Smaller particles separate more effectively than larger particles because they require less charge to separate. The effectiveness of electrostatic separation depends on the ability of the particles to be charged and then separated by the electrostatic field. If the particle size distribution is not homogeneous, larger particles may not receive enough charge to be separated effectively, while smaller particles may become overcharged and repel each other, reducing the efficiency of the separation. For this reason, it's important to classify particles by size prior to separation to create a product that is as homogeneous as possible. This can be easily achieved by sifting through screens. By now you understand the challenges sifting poses. However, innovative technologies can be used to overcome these challenges. Take a look at these sieves that use a circulating jet of air to break up agglomerates and unclog screens. Brilliant. These machines address many of the disadvantages of normal vibrating screens. In conclusion, the mass of a particle plays a crucial role in its ability to hold charge and its capacity to separate via electrostatic separation. By understanding this relationship, we can better optimize the separation process and improve the quality of our products. I'd like to know if you have experience or ideas about this process. If so, please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, Please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.